Hi, I'm Mark from ereplacementparts.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the stopper on an echo trimmer. The stopper is a flexible rubber piece that goes just inside both ends of the trimmer shaft. Its purpose is to secure the cable liner and keep it from moving back and forth. If a stopper fails, the cable liner can move and you'll get a lot of vibration inside the trimmer. Replacing the stopper is easy to do, and we're going to show you how. Stoppers, as well as many other parts, can be found on our website. Let's get started. We'll begin by removing the side cover from the trigger handle assembly. Now I'll remove these two screws and that'll allow me to pull the rest of the handle assembly away. I'll want to be kind of careful as I remove it because these levers are under spring tension. Now I'll loosen these two screws on the clamp against the motor. And that'll allow me to pull the shaft away from the motor. The stopper is up inside the tube. I'll grab it with a pair of needle nose pliers and pull it away from the tube. Now insert our new stopper into the tube and push it in until it bumps up against the cable liner. Like that. Now I'll slide our new shaft assembly into the motor assembly. Once I have it in place, I'll go ahead and secure it with the two clamp screws. Now we can go ahead and install this half of the trigger handle assembly back onto the shaft. Before I do, I want to go ahead and tuck the ignition wires back down into the handle so these don't get pinched when we put everything back together. Make sure the throttle cable is aligned, and then I'll place this assembly back up onto the shaft. Now that I have the handle in place against the shaft, I'll align the clamps and secure them with the screws. Before I tighten the screws completely, I want to make sure that the handle assembly is aligned with the motor and the front handle. That looks good, so now I can tighten them down. Now I'll reinstall the other half of the trigger handle assembly and secure it with the four screws. And that's all it takes to replace the stopper on your Echo Trimmer. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. 